name is Niyati Said and thanks for watching Edipedia Wood videos. My topic for the presentation is the anatomy of cockroach. We'll be studying digestive system, respiratory system, nervous system of cockroaches in this presentation. Okay, so let's start with the digestive system. As we know, digestion starts in the mouth with the mandibles and the maxillae chewing the food. Mandibles and maxillae I have already taught you in my previous presentation. You can refer to that. Okay. So, uh, digestive system of cockroach has three parts. That means the elementary canal has three parts which are those foregut, midgut and hindgut. Okay. So, uh, foregut. Foregut, it is lined by cuticle. Okay. It is lined by cuticle. Cuticle is a layer, you can say. And how it proceeds, how the digestion of the uh, cockroaches takes place? First, it goes ma uh, in the mouth and then into the pharynx, then esophagus, crop, gizzard. And finally, through anus, it moves out okay what is gizzard gizzard has an outer layer of thick circular muscles and thick inner cuticle that forms six chitinous plates okay which we call it as teeth it helps to grind the food okay it helps to grind the food see this is your gizzard this is your crop crop is used for restoring the food for on temporary basis and this is your esophagus this is the pharynx and these are the salivary glands okay so digestion starts in the mouth with the mandibles and the maxillae chewing the food it is also acted upon by the salivary carbohydrates which partially digest the food the food is then swallowed with the help of lubrication provided by salivary juices. Salivary juices are uh, provided by salivary glands. The food then enters the esophagus. This is the esophagus. That food then enters the esophagus and then into the crop. This is the crop which stores the food. Here, the masticated food is temporarily stored. Okay, in the crop, the food is stored temporarily. The food is then passed into gizzard. This is our gizzard, this yellow bulgy part. So, uh, gizzard, it acts as a grinding chamber. Okay, and at the junction of the gizzard and the stomach is a wall called stomadial wall. Okay, what it is called as? It is called as stomadial wall wall it allows the passage of only the thoroughly digested food into the stomach and it also prevents the regurgitation of food from the stomach the ground food then enters the stomach okay then it enters the stomach the digestive enzyme secreted by gastric ck okay uh, as you can see here, a uh, hepatic cica is shown. Likewise, it has gastric CK that act upon the food in the stomach. And these enzymes, they include amylase, maltase, invertase, tryptase and lipase. The remaining carbohydrate, proteins and fats, they are digested by, uh, here. Okay, they are digested here. The digested food is absorbed through the stomach walls in the surrounding spaces which we call it as hemocele. What we call it as hemocele. I repeat, the digested food is absorbed through the stomach walls in the surrounding uh, space which is called as hemocele. The hemocele consists of a large number of fat bodies, which are fat cells having the fat globules, protein granules and glycogen. They form a storage structure. From here, it is transported to the different body parts. 
Now comes the hind gut. Just after mid gut, there is a hind gut, which is not uh, shown in this diagram. But just after mid gut, there is a hind gut. In the hind gut, absorption of the water takes place, and the undigested food is formed into almost dry pellets, and these are excreted through the anus as feces. Okay. So um, let's uh, see once again. Foregut we have already studied. Now comes midgut. This is the midgut which we call it as mesentron. It is not lined by cuticle, unlike foregut. And uh, around six to eight tubular hepatic or gastric CK uh, are found here that secrete digestive. Juice, okay, and at the junction of mid gut and hind gut, there are hundred to one fifty Malpighian tubules. Okay, these are Malpighian tubules, and they are around hundred to one fifty Malpighian tubules, which are present at the junction of mid gut and the hind gut. Now comes the hind gut. Hind gut, it is broader than mid gut. It is lined internally by cuticle. And unlike mid gut, it is lined internally by cuticle. It includes ileum, colon, and rectum. So these are the parts of hind gut: ileum, colon, and rectum. Rectum it opens out through anus. Okay. I hope it is clear to all of you the digestive system of cockroaches. Now comes the circulatory system. Okay, a circulatory system of cockroaches. So the heart of the cockroach is elongated. Okay, it is elongated. It is thick. It is muscular. It is tubular, and it is thirteen chambers. These are the chambers of heart. How many chambers are there? Thirteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay, so thirteen chambers of uh, heart is seen in cockroaches. It lies in the pericardial sinus of the hemocoel. Remember, I have just told you what hemocoel is. So, uh, in it, uh, this uh, heart it lies in the pericardial sinus of the hemocoel. Each chamber of the heart receives oxygenated blood from the dorsal sinus through one pair of slit-like openings called os. Ostia, ostia. It is not shown here, but this is anterior aorta. Okay, this is your aorta, uh, and the heart contracts in the posterior anterior direction, and the blood also flows posterior anteriorly. Okay, from uh, post side to anterior side. The alary muscles are responsible for the. These are the alary muscles, so they are responsible for the circulation of blood. The first chamber leads into an aorta, which opens in the head sinuses, which are connected to the pericardial sinus through perineural and perivisceral sinuses. Okay. See, from heart, it goes into the aorta, and from aorta, it goes into the head sinuses, and then from the head sinuses, it goes into the perineural sinuses, and from perineural sinuses, it goes to the perivisceral uh, sinuses, and from perivisceral sinuses to pericardial sinuses, and then it goes back into the heart, and this uh, process goes on and on and on. Okay, so uh, let's see once again that uh, blood vascular system in cockroaches is open type, and blood uh, vessels are poorly developed, and they open into hemocoel. Hemocoel, I have just told you that it's a cavity. Visceral organs in the hemocoel are bathed in blood. Blood, um, blood of the cockroach is known as hemolymph. Hemolymph is composed of colorless plasma and hemocytes. And what about its uh, heart? Heart is an elongated muscular tube that lies along mid dorsal line of the thorax and abdomen. It has funnel shaped chambers with ostia on either side. It has ostia on the either sides. 
and how it goes blood from the sinuses it moves into the ostia from ostia to heart and heart to anterior aorta and anterior aorta to sinuses so this was uh, all about uh, uh, circulatory system of cockroaches okay now comes respiratory system okay of respiratory system of cockroaches okay so the blood of cockroach is not responsible for the transportation of gases it serves as a stationary medium for exchange of gases okay a complicated system of numerous shiny transparent and branched air tubes or trachea are found for gaseous exchange in hemocele cavity this is the hemocele cavity and these are the tracheal trunks uh, okay and they are found for gaseous exchange in the hemocele cavity there are six longitudinal tracheal tubes these are tracheal tubes and two dorsal two ventral and and two lateral which are interconnected by transverse commissures okay and uh, um, there are uh, uh, some chitinous rings are also seen these are the chitinous rings which help in the um, in, in in preventing the collapse of the trachea okay they help to prevent the collapse of the trachea okay and uh, now come to the spiracles what are these these are the spiracles as the atmospheric air enters into and escape out from the system through 10 pairs of slit like apertures these are 10 pairs in number and they are slit like apertures which we call it as spiracles okay these are spiracles which are located on the trans lateral sides of the body this is the lateral side students okay so they are situated at the tracheal side uh, sorry the lateral sides of the body two pair of these are thoracic and eight pairs are abdominal okay thoracic uh, spiracles are somewhat larger and one pair of these in between prothorax and other between mesothorax and metathorax upon respective pleuroids okay so and and each spiracle is surrounded these are the spiracles and they are surrounded by a ring like sclerite called peritrim okay what they called as peritrim okay so uh, let's uh, see it once again that it consists of a network of trachea that opens through 10 pairs of the small hole which we call it as spiracles these are spiracles which are present on the lateral sides of the body and thin branching tubes are subdivided uh, into tracheoles these tracheoles are uh, divided into tracheoles okay and uh, uh, they carry oxygen from air to all the parts the opening of the spiracles is regulated by sphincters sphincters are like gates okay and gas exchange takes place at tracheoles by diffusion this is how the diagram is okay now comes the excretory system okay uh, excretory system of cockroaches as we know they, that they are uricotelic okay what is the excretory organ of the cockroaches it is the malfeasian tubules remember students i have taught you in the digestive system what are malfeasian tubules they are hairy hairy like structures and they are found at the junction of the mid gut and the hind gut and they are about 100 to 150 in number they are fine they are yellow colored and they are branched threads they are present in bundles they lie freely in the hemolymph the distal part of the tubules they extract inorganic ions uric acid amino acids by active transport and water by diffusion from the surrounding hemolymph the filtrate then moved towards the ileum part in the proximal part of the malfeasian tubule water and other useful substances are reabsorbed 
The remaining material pass into the gut. More water and inorganic ions they are reabsorbed in the gut and almost solid uric acid is finally eliminated with the feces. And this is how it goes. So this is the excretory system of the cockroaches. Now comes the nervous system of cockroaches. It is consists of segmentally arranged ganglia which is joined by paired longitudinal connectives on the ventral side. See, this is the nervous system of cockroach. That it consists of a segmentally arranged ganglia. These are the ganglia. Okay, supra esophageal, sub esophageal, and uh, circumferential. These these are thoracic ganglia. So these are the ganglia which consist of segmentally arranged ganglia which are joined by paired longitudinal connectives on the ventral side. Three ganglia in thorax and six in the abdomen are found. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six ganglia are found in abdominal region. Head holds a bit of the nervous system while the rest is situated along the ventral part of the body. So if the head of the cockroach is cut off, it will still lie for one week, one or one and a half week. Okay, so uh, the supraesophageal ganglion, this is the supraesophageal ganglion, it supplies nerves to antenna and compound eyes. Remember students have taught you that cockroaches have compound eyes and not the simple eyes. Okay, and it also has sense organs like Antennae, compound eyes, maxillary pulps, labial pulps, anal, cerci, etc. Antennae have sensory receptors to monitor the environment. Okay, because it hangs from the head, right? I have shown you the diagram also in my previous presentation. You can refer to that. Okay, uh, each compound eye consists of about 2000 hexagonal omatidia. Omatidia it is very important that it is present in the cockroach's eye. Okay, they can receive several images of an object. This is known as mosaic vision. It has more sensitivity but less resolution, being common during night, and hence they are nocturnal in nature, and that's the reason they have nocturnal vision also. Okay. So, this was all about uh, the digestive system, excretory system, respiratory system and nervous system of the cockroaches. In my next section of the presentation, we will be studying each of the system in detail. So, till then, stay tuned and keep watching Edipedia Word video.